What is going on guys, Bisectatron here, bringing you today's video, and we got some very cool attacks to take a look at today, showing off some of the new additions from the update. Starting here with this Wizard Golem Avalanche, I guess you could call it, taking out a compact Town Hall 13 base. Also our friend the Log Launcher making an appearance, helping kind of carve out a entry into the base here. Very nice usage of it. And um, this is a very interesting attack. I think it does work mostly against these kind of nice compact bases. You can think of the super wizards as like electro dragons in that they get the chain damage if the buildings are close enough together. Um, a couple P.E.K.K.A.s walking around the outside tanking a little bit for those super wizards uh, which are going to help kind of take out the flanks. And then the main push going down the middle, that log line gets just enough done to open up that back end town hall everything moving through um, warden's ability has been used here comes the king's ability has an ice golem as well coming in there um, i think a couple ice golems came out of the log launcher so just looking very nice also these invisibility spells on the royal champion something i made a video on uh, about a week ago is uh, how you can use the invisibility spells on the rc and this is a great example uses it to bypass those skeletons a very nice uh decision there and then she'll continue on hits the ability takes out pretty much the rest of the defenses on the base here and um what's left in the core has uh, the king or not the king the queen warden and a couple of these super wizards to finish off the base also a headhunter in there in two swag spells more or less i mean the the rage and freeze did get a little value on the world champion probably not needed maybe for time if, if nothing else very cool attack wouldn't use it against every base but um works against a lot of bases and um let's move over to um number 15 we're going all around the board here taking a look at 13s 12s 11s i'm going to show some of the uh, attacks by by forever as well so that's not the only town hall 13 attack you'll see today and we're going to mix it up showing different uh new things from the update this one i also i wanted to show because this is the first time you can bring a super troop as well as the regular version of that troop um, the update made that possible so we have a super witch kind of joining the witches on either of these flanks uh, but overall, this is just a mass witch attack with the zap quakes on the infernos and the uh, log launcher making it possible to come up the gut here of the base. You can see that the inferno, the eagle, and the town hall all nicely lined up. So it's it worked out very great for uh, pathing here. Um, most of the troops actually went off into that... Uh, top part of the compartments there but the log launcher will continue on and open up the town hall before it does uh, break down here now um one thing that is interesting is uh that you can only bring two super troops so in this case the attacker had to bring wall breakers regular wall breakers not the uh, super wall breaker version so um you got to kind of take your pick still but you, you now can bring multiple super troops. Um, in this case, it was the super giants and the super witches. Plus, uh, you can bring the regular version of any of the troops that you are bringing as a super troop. So it kind of makes a lot more combinations possible. This one worked out very nicely. We're going to be taking a look at the log launcher in most of these attacks. And I think overall it's pretty effective especially i would say at the higher town hall levels down at town hall 11 i'm a little bit on the fence as far as if you want to actually uh use it versus the wall wrecker and i think uh i'll have to make a whole video dedicated to when to use each of them once i get some more data points but um i think the log launcher has made a pretty good debut especially up at the top town hall levels in clash right now um, we are going to move on here, take a look at um, a couple Town Hall 11s, um, and then we will circle back and take a look at one more uh, Town Hall 13 and one Town Hall 12 from the Buy Forever attacks uh, from this war. So here we go, Town Hall 11. Um, see for yourself if you like the log launcher here. I would say in this case, um, as you'll see in the attack, the wall wrecker actually may have been a better choice as you guys uh, have noticed the log launcher has a um, expiration date on it so to speak it will slowly decrease in hit points and eventually break 
without any actual damage hitting it. So um, it's not going to do that full push through the entire base that sometimes that nice level 4 wall wrecker will do uh, once you uh, get it going here, especially at Town Hall 11, where there's not as much damage uh, dealing defenses on the base. So this was a nice setup here, uses the wall uh, the wall breakers, the super wall breakers that is, to set things up um, for those golems, comes in with the witches, um, nice even spread, everything's being tanked at first. Uh, I like the, the addition of the giants is always good to mix a giant or two in, it can trigger some giant bombs and do some tanking just to make sure that the witches themselves don't get hit too early because the skeletons are not always the best at tanking, especially against splash damage. Uh, wall Wrecker, or sorry, Wall um, Log Launcher uh, does a good job opening things up quicker than the Wall Wrecker initially because those logs go out and they can uh, reach farther than the Wall Wrecker can uh, otherwise. But it's not going to you know, push and actually tank as well. It's more of a passive uh, siege machine in that it'll open things up from a distance. It'll do damage to other buildings that are in the line of fire. But it's not going to be your best uh, uh, go-to for tanking and for um, really being out in front. Also, if you bring like ice golems or something in it, they might actually be behind your troops by the time uh, the wall or the log launcher deploys. So the wall wrecker is often better when it comes to being a little tankier and having some more longevity too. Um, but it's not always as good at opening things up because it does take a little longer to directly hit each of those walls um, as it goes through them. So um, Town Hall 11. Still on the fence about it. Um, I think we have one more attack to take a look at. So I will um, switch over to that one. This was a cool attack. And it's using something that I think has been working at every town hall level that is able to bring a siege machine right now. It is the Super Wizard Blimp Invisibility Spell combination. Takes a little more spell space than the traditional yeti bomb where you just drop the rage uh, on the yetis that come out of the blimp. That's mostly used at Town Hall 12 and 13, mind you. Um, I occasionally would use it at Town Hall 11, just bringing one yeti and some Valks. But this one seems a little more versatile and you are investing a couple of invisibility spells in most cases, as well as the rage, but you can see these super wizards are going to actually get much more value than the uh, Yetis otherwise would, especially against a nice compact base. Um, right there gets that last hit off. Uh, the chain damage just took out a ton of other buildings. Of course, it would have been nice to get that Multi Inferno, but uh, for a dragon attack, <clears throat> uh, excuse me, it's actually not that important um, relative to maybe air defenses and expos and stuff like that. So they did a great job clearing out a huge section of the base. Also didn't throw the CC, which is good in case there was a Lava Hound in there. Um, although the heroes actually might uh, get in there and do it themselves. So the CC comes out, it is just kind of a super minion um, headhunter type deal, which is common. Great use of the Warden's ability, um, covering for a lot of damage that the dragons were taking there. Uh, good value from that rage as well. Queen gets some, also some insane uh, value from her ability. Defensive Queen's always a big uh, thing to get taken down when you're doing a dragon attack, especially when you don't have a rage. The Queen can do some, uh, some serious damage, punching holes in dragons. Um, so everything kind of paths through about as nicely as possible, really. Uh, one dragon to kind of start clean up towards the bottom, the rest going up to the top there where all the damage is to get that out of the way. Um, and a very nice split as well as they get these remaining, remaining defenses down. Um, it is a little bit close here. It looks like that baby dragon just got that uh, archer tower down. The warden is also helping out um, as well. And just kind of a, a very fortunate split. But I thought the setup was very good there with the um, battle blimp. And you could use that with like a hybrid. Just do a little queen walk on the outside to get the other funnel. Lots of different options. It does take a little bit in terms of spells. But you're getting a lot for it oftentimes. So you drop the rage, the invisibility spells on those wizards, and um, typically you're good to go. Now, there, it is true that, you know, as I've shown on the channel, anything inside of the invisibility spell uh, as a building will not be targeted by your troops. But for the wizards, it's not that big of a deal because typically it'll actually splash back onto that building 
Um, so it's it's okay usually to have that be the case where if they drop on like the eagle, they might not actually target the eagle if the invisibility spell is, is covering it. So I have not seen that be an issue as much. Um, so here it is once again, um, deploying it actually a little early so that way the town hall is not, um, he's able to drop the invisibility spell on the wizards but not the town hall so they can target the town hall. And there's quite a few of them in there getting some good value. The way this actually ends up working out is they take out the Lava Hound just because there's no defenses that can reach them. Um, kind of a weird way this worked out, but I think it was actually pretty good in this case. Um, you can see here with that two tile gap between the uh, storage and the mortar, they cannot get that chain damage, just like the Electro Dragon. Um, also, pretty good hit points too, it's worth noting. They do not go down uh, easily. Uh, you know, giant bombs aren't going to kill them, so you can be a little bit more kind of fast and free with them as you would maybe a normal wizard, which is a lot more susceptible to um, getting taken out, uh, you know, by a you know, medium amount of damage. So, good value, You've got the town hall, a few other defenses around it. Probably would have liked to get one of those scatter shots. Um, one of them was damaged significantly, but not taken out, uh, but wasn't a deal breaker. As you can see, this was still a three star. Uh, queen comes in, good value, good job funneling, I kind of mi missed the funnel, but somehow, some way, the queen just went directly into the base there, which was fortunate. Um, she's going to, I think, not be able to reach that uh, multi, but um, it'll be taken out by the hybrid. This is a very awkward hybrid. Um, there was nothing to take out these buildings back here, so it's going to be kind of a weird pathing for these miners, but fortunately... Um, they're not going to take too much damage until they get towards the back end, uh, but the queen has done a lot of work already for them. Um, one thing to note here is the new barbarian levels just look in... Or is that the... Is that a skin on the king? Maybe that's not a new barbarian level. Um, I, might, I, I, don't, I didn't see one in the update, so I might just be losing my mind here. Maybe they added a skin to the barbarians that get spawned as well, because the king does have that... Uh, that flame sword skin. Let me know in the comments if I I'm, I think it's a skin on the barbarians as well that get spawned. But um, who knows? Maybe it's like a level 11 barbarian. I don't think that's the case. Anyway, let's move on to the next attack. Um, I think we have one more to take a look at. Number 22. I believe this was Town Hall 12. And yes, it was. Um, this is similar to the very first attack we watched. Again, the super wizards uh, making an appearance and paired up with the golems as well as the uh, log launcher. Now, there were witches used as well, so it was a little more of a standard attack in the sense that it had those witches, um, which, is, which is common uh, for Town Hall 12, Town Hall 11, uh, pretty much any Town Hall level, the witches are dominating. But I like how the Super Wizards were sprinkled in, especially against a base like this, which is relatively compact. I mean, most of these buildings are all within one uh, tile gaps of each other, which is uh, what you need to get those chain damages going. And the Log Launcher, once again used, dropped a little bit delayed, but that's okay. You can drop it a little later than you otherwise might drop like a Wall Wrecker, for example, because it... Um, has more range it's going to open things up quicker and you can see that's the case here also able to um you know take out a bunch of walls in a row if they line up that way in this case um very nearly took out that entire little stretch of walls between the compartments there uh, so that's kind of a unique thing they can do the wall record would have to take those walls out like two at a time which would take forever um jump spell wasn't even necessary either the uh, log launcher got it done it does break you know earlier than maybe the wall wrecker would but also the wall wrecker would probably be taking more damage so maybe it would break at a similar time uh, so I, I think the log launcher is looking a little better than the wall wrecker right now at town hall 12 and 13 in most attacks so which is still alive on both sides um, that's what you like to see is the attacker still some uh, super wizards alive there getting some last shots off as well as the queen and her ability Lots of troops left up um, and not many defenses at all. Very nice attack there. We'll go ahead and fast forward. And that's what's working right now, guys. Log Launcher is a big one. Um, the uh, the use of the Super Wizard, even in the, the Battle Blimp as well, 
uh, also good and was seeing some invisibility spell of course used with the super wizard but also you know used with the royal champion or kind of on the side in different uh, niche situations so hope you liked the video and uh, thanks for watching hit the subscribe if you haven't already and i'll see you guys in the next video thanks for watching this video if you enjoy my content consider supporting the channel by entering my creator boost code bisect in the settings tab of your game and keep in mind it occasionally resets and must be re-entered. Click or tap for another video and be sure to subscribe. See you all next time. Bisectatron out.